What's up guys, Pippi Deed here, and this is episode 34 of my Road to Glory. And like I said, today we're going to be playing only Divisions because the Foot Birthday Cup is still out and we already won that. So next episode will be a cup and then the episode after that will be Divisions again. So this is going to be our new schedule. Uh, we're going to be taking turns between uh, Cups and Divisions. So anyways, we come across this guy who has a very, very good team very high rated players there i think like everybody's above 85 which is kind of crazy however he does have 89 chemistry which might affect him a little bit so i think this is division six uh still because um uh we won the division seven title i believe last episode so we're going into this division six match hopefully hopefully to win and uh, progress as fast as we can Vargas has a good chance right there to open up the score sheet however he hits the post but then his goalkeeper throws it heads it my player heads it, gives it to Cabela, and Cabela misses the shot, and um, it goes out for a goal kick. Azipiliqueta also gets a yellow card for a earlier foul, and now he's going to get a goal kick, and we are going to have a good chance of scoring because he's going to do something that you should never do in FIFA, and that is pass it short. Sturge reads the play, easily finishes that, and it's 1-0 to us in the 18th minute, and Sturge, is just he just doesn't stop scoring, guys. I've said it once, I've said it twice, and I'll say it again. Sturge is an amazing player, and you should definitely get him in one of your teams if you have the coins. Sturge does start off that play right there. Fernandinho goes to shoot, and right before the ball goes out, his player tackles Fernandinho, and that's going to be a penalty every single time. So we're going to give this to Shirley, who is the default penalty taker in our team. I probably should have switched it to somebody better, but whatever. It is what it is. And Sturge is going to, not Sturge, Shirley is going to step up, shoot it, and score. So we're winning 2-0 in the 23rd minute, and things are looking pretty good. And despite this guy having a high-rated team, he did not play up to par with his team. And we wanted to extend our lead because two goals is sometimes not enough. And Shirley is going to do an amazing run down the wing. Out muscles the defender and also outpaces him and that's surprising because that was Thiago Silva and then Alexi Sanchez gets possession again does a great bit of skill and wow what an amazing goal right there bicycle not bicycle but a rainbow and then a shot and we're winning 3-0 so that was a pretty nifty goal from Alexi Sanchez and we're winning 3-0 and it is the second half and it pretty much looks like we will end up winning. However, this guy would have a good chance right there and Coleman with an absolute great clearance right there, right off the line. That could have possibly got the guy back into the game. However, Coleman was there to clear it off the line. Very good play from Coleman right there. And we're still winning 3-0 and it is reaching on to the 80th minute. However, I start messing around with Cabela there. And I give away possession, and Van Persie is going to finish that very easily. Very stupid of me, I gave up possession and uh, end up losing the clean sheet coins that we could have gotten if I didn't mess around. And this guy would have a good chance right here with Ozil, but as Pelicueta is way too quick for him, gets possession back, and we're going to start building up a little play right here from the defense. Shelny gives a great pass to Vargas, who gives it to Cabela. Cabela sees Sturge. This guy pulls out his goalkeeper way too much, and Sturge would have the last laugh as he scores that chip. 83rd minute we are winning 4-1 to one, and it looks like we have got the 3 points and in fact we have because the ref blows the whistle right after that. So we're doing pretty good in Division 6 so far and we get 532 coins, get the win, get the 3 points and we're going to go into our second division match of the episode. And just showing the stats right there, I had 17 shots um, and he had 8 so very deserved win I guess you can say. So 6 points in Division 6 six so far hoping to have 12 by the end of the episode and we're going to go into a match with the russian league squad because this is one of the only other squads that we have and is good enough to play in divisions so we're going to go into another match right here and we're going to come across this guy in a few seconds who has the name class on grass a pretty original name if i do say so myself but he has a pretty good squad maybe not as good as the last guy but he definitely has informed chikahoi who is always a threat uh, non-upgraded Aguero, but uh, still Aguero nonetheless, and uh, always be scared of Aguero, despite him not playing so good for us. However, we would get the first chance over here. Emanike gives it to Witzel. Witzel shoots, it hits the post, and lucky for us, the rebound bounces back to Emanike. So extremely lucky FIFA-type goal right there, and we take the lead 1-0 up in the 14th minute, and hopefully we could keep the lead, and uh, hopefully our luck does continue. He would try to give a pass to Chikahoy, but a very poor pass, and Chikahoy would not be able to reach it. Melo gives it to Emanike. Emanike gives it to Dumbia, and Dumbia sees Emanike once again. Emanike, great control. 
Uh, probably should have cleared it out with his defender. And once again, we get lucky with the rebound. And Diego finishes it on the open goal. And we're winning 2-0. And uh, something I feared was that our luck would soon run out. And that it did. Because in a few seconds here, he would go on the attack. Aguero right off a kickoff. Shoots it. He Sherman blocks it. But it goes out for a corner. Great chance for this guy to score a header and put him back into the game. Felipe Luis is going to cross that in. Isherman is going to save it, and Kay Hill is going to get the rebound, and uh, the, the luck just reversed back to him. And he was back in the game at this point because 2-1 to one is a very easy score to come back from. Boschetti would intersect the pass, give it to Witzel. Witzel with a great pass to Emanike. Emanike would have a good chance to score, but he gives it to Diego, and Diego could not repeat what he did in the second goal, and he ended up missing on the open net, which is quite poor because we could have had a two-goal cushion right there. A very poor header from Musa right there, and that would prove very bad for us because Coleman goes in. Well, that's not Coleman. That's um, Mario Fernandez goes in for a tackle, and very poorly timed from me. And he would get a penalty and a good chance for Aguero to put him back into the game, and that he does. Despite the Shermer diving the right way, it still goes in, and it's two to two. And I was just very disheartened at this point because I had two lucky goals, and then he had two lucky goals back. So hopefully things were balanced now and EA would stop giving him luck and we would have a chance of winning this game. And I didn't let that two goals that he got put me down. I just kept fighting because I want the three points, want to get to Division 1, and that's what I tried to do. Felipe Melo gives it to Dumbia. Dumbia sees Emanike. Emanike is going to push it past the keeper. And surprisingly, that went in. I actually expected that to go out, but it did go in. 3-2 to two in the 52nd minute. And we're going to try and get that fourth goal because one goal lead is not too easy to hold on to. So Emanike, nice little bit of skill right there, tries to hold possession, waits for a play to open up, sees Melo, and Melo sees Dumbia, who's going to push it past the keeper and score once again. So we're winning 4-2, to two, and this guy's uh, downfall was probably the fact that he kept pulling off his keeper. If he kept his keeper there, I'm pretty sure Dumbia wouldn't have scored there, but... Uh, what are you going to do? Some people just still don't realize that playing out your goalkeeper every single time is not a good idea. And once again, who, what do you know? Miranda goes in for a tackle in the box, misses the player. Poor defending for me this game. And Miranda would get a yellow card. Lucky for us, he didn't get a red card because that would have really put a damper on things. And this guy would have a great chance to put himself back into the game pretty late on. Uh, but um, still a lot of time to score. Aguero steps up. However, this time he shares me reads the play and saves it so he Gisherme has saved us from conceding a second penalty this game and we would be still holding on to that lead in the 80th minute and this guy did not want to give up but however Aguero loses possession Emenike once again Emenike and Dumbia with that great partnership Dumbia is going to chip it over his keeper once again this guy keeps pulling out his goalkeeper it's like he's got his finger glued to the Y button and that would uh, lead to the fifth goal and very strangely right there I took a last minute shot with Miranda and uh, I kind of feel like that would have gone in if the ref didn't blow the whistle so that would have been an incredible goal then maybe if the ref didn't blow the whistle the goalkeeper would have kept running back and he would have saved it but I like to believe that that would have been an amazing goal if the ref didn't call full time however we do win five to two get to three points once again and once again we're going to be going into a divisions match Last game of the episode, we're going with the Premiership squad. That guy doesn't want to play us, so we go ahead and search for another guy really quick. We come across this guy with the Real Madrid badge. Uh, latency was pretty poor, but I, whatever, I just wanted to play. 85 rated squad, and oh my god, what a squad that is. 4-3-3, very pacey wingers, Neymar and Navas, who could definitely do the work to give um, Aguero some assists and uh, Aguero is quite the lethal striker so I had to play very good against this guy because uh, it would be no joke. Fernandinho takes the ball away from Aguero right there, gives it to Shirley, Shirley gives it to Vargas and Vargas just showing why he's better than Aguero, does a little bit of skill, feeds Sturridge, Sturridge is going to finish out every single time and in the 13th minute we are up 1-0, Sturridge not going to stop scoring anytime soon from the looks of it. And Fernandinho would stop the play right there, give it to Sturridge, bad pass from Sturridge to Vargas, and this guy would have a good chance over here on the attack, Neymar holding up play, waiting for a good pass, Fernandinho once again with the interception, Fernandinho is a pretty good player guys also, everybody in this team is good actually, and uh, right there his defender timed his tackle pretty poorly, which left Sturridge easily through on goal, 
who gives a great low cross to Vargas and the game would freeze and you know what that means guys either EA just bullcrapped us or this guy quit and it looks like this guy did in fact quit because we're going to see the little thing in a few seconds that says that we won so that's nine points in three games very good and that's going to be the end of the episode guys my name is Pippi Deed and I'm out